Look at the cute doggies. They love to have their tummies rubbed. Where's it at? Oh, come on, there you go. They love to play with their favorite toys. <laughs> but when they go to work, <laughs> watch out. Good boy. This is a training session for the working dogs of the Bureau of Alcohol, Tobacco, Firearms, and Explosives, the ATF. This is my partner and friend, Nico. This is Titus. This is Axel. This is K9 Nash. His name is Reno. This is Baron. This is my K9 Brody. The ATF and its special response teams target some of the country's most violent criminals. Like this raid last year on a motorcycle game. Often, when the gunfire stops and it's time to move in, they call out the dogs. In essence, they're a locating tool. They're there to help us locate the hidden suspect or apprehend the fleeing suspect. There are seven canine teams scattered across the country. They occasionally come together to practice all kinds of scenarios. Let's say a suspect tries to get away in a car. Or maybe he decides to run. I'm gonna send the dog, get on the go. Bad decision. There you go. There you go. Oh. It's pretty scary. That's why I run so fast. Unfortunately, I can't run as fast as a dog. That's instructor Andy Wilbur as the fugitive. When he just hit me, all I saw was uh, stars and then the ground. With these dogs, their bite is worse than their bark. But some barking is usually all it takes. Most people fear dogs more than they fear firearms. <laughs> Oddly enough. Hey, buddy. Hi. You're a good boy. Jeff Perryman runs the canine program. The objective for ATF is to apprehend somebody without doing any harm to anybody, without our people getting hurt, without the suspect getting hurt. And the biggest piece of advice we can give is is please don't hide because we'll find you and, and please do not run because these dogs are going to catch you. Because if the bad guy makes a dash through the woods, the dog can follow his Get scent the now, for the miles. Dog. Get on the ground now, we're the dog. Let's... And if a suspect goes into a closet, a camera mounted on a dog's back can give agents a canine view of the hide and seek. Yeah, he's trying to get, okay. trying to get okay. in that closet. Okay. Deep Let's go. But what motivates these dogs? Agents like Jeff Kaiser know that basically, dogs just want to have fun. Give it to me. No, I give it to me. Everything is play reward. When they get done doing what we ask them to do, they always get the play. Good boy. Good job. Very nice. Hey, baby. I know, I know, I know. Happy day. There's an extensive screening process when it comes to adding a new dog to the team. Beautiful bite. Go. Jeff Perriman went prospecting for puppies at a kennel outside Pittsburgh. Well, you can see his eyes are wide open. Nice calm on the bite. He's very confident. His tail's up, his ears are up. He wants to work. We could be in a situation where we've got five guys dealing with a couple suspects and hands are all over the dog and leaning against him. We need to know he can handle a lot of hands and bodies around him, and he can. And he can. Very, very well. The ATF needs a unique kind of dog, one that can turn it on and off, aggressive when necessary. Nice. Extremely social the rest of the time. I'm a little attached. I bet you are. The agents and their dogs, like Perryman and his dog Brody, are sure. together 24-7, traveling constantly from operation to operation. The dogs lie under the seat in flight and act as goodwill ambassadors as they go through airports. He watches my back. He's watching our guys' backs. Hi. He's a hero for what he does. I'm watching you get emotional. I, I don't, you know, I'm doing my best not to, not to tear up, but you know, he is, he is a member of my family. Man's best friend when it's time to go home at night. Get ready to go to work, buddy. Man's best partner when it's time to go to work. You look at them and you're just so grateful that they're there working hard for you. And the moment you ask them to do it again, they can't wait to get up and do it again. Good job. All right.